deliberately knowingly cheat on you I didn't do what you did to me now I see now I see why you don't believe me you are so guilty you're as guilty as sin and you figure you point the finger at me it takes the heat off of you right no it's not true I'll tell you what is the truth what happened between Simon and me happened this was the first time it ever happened. We were just hopeless and we had fear that we would never get off that island. I never gave up every single day trying to find a way to get back home. And Simon, too, he would do anything we could. And then we saw Celia die on a raft that we built. We saw her drown. That is the day that part of me gave up hope. I thought I was going to die on that island. I was going to grow old and die there. And after what Celia told me, I, how could I not give up hope? You didn't even know that I was missing. And there was no way home. That's the truth. Hold on. You better fasten your seatbelts or I were about to land. me again I am just I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this this out this is so wow um you know in a way I guess I should be grateful to Katie grateful for what for publishing those pictures it, it brought my love life to a halt it, I didn't belong with Chris I didn't come here for him I came came here for you and maybe if none of that had happened we wouldn't have gotten as as close as we are now do you really mean that of course i mean it Molly, all those heart-to-heart -heart talks that we had it seemed as if you were trying to apologize for something i thought that maybe you knew you just didn't know you knew please just understand i let that part has go. I was so afraid. Afraid of what? I was afraid that when you found out that you'd never forgive me. <sighs> do you? I mean, I mean, do you think that you, you can ever forgive me for this? Forgive you? Holly, I... I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Oh, more than you'll ever know, honey. <laughs> about how Katie was so there, so helpful, a shoulder to cry on. She never really cared about me. Katie Pretty wants two things in this world. She wants to be the most famous little anchor in the business, and she wants to stick her fangs into Holden. Holden? My dad? What, is she crazy? I am so sorry I had to be the one to say that to you. It crossed my mind once, but... Ew. I shouldn't have laid that on you. Forget that I ever mentioned that, Abigail. I can, I can deal with it, because... Once Katie gets what's coming to her, this thing will finally all be over. Uh, unless she tries to get back at you, and then you have to get back at her. What's going on? What are you thinking in there? Uh, what if, you know, maybe we let it end here, you know, forget about it? You know, honey, Jake, Jake's been trying to get me to do the same thing. Believe it. It's Katie. Coach. Yeah, I'll take care of her. <clears throat> Katie, hey, what a surprise. You know Funny. exactly why I'm here. No, I'm I'm sorry, I can't say that I do. The videotape. The tape that you stole back from Lily. The tape that you and Jake were cackling so discreetly about. What were you planning to do with it? do? Now cut the mystified Molly act. Game's over. I win. <laughs> you backed yourself into a corner and you don't even know it. 
Molly, you should have thought ahead, really, for Abigail's sake. Because if she found out what I found out, well, she'd be just as nauseated as the rest of the people you've been conning. I mean, that is a lie that would make a girl hate her lying tramp of a mother for the rest of her life. You want to dance, Molly? Let's dance. You've been faking since day one. You didn't forget anything. You know exactly what happened before you took the spill down those stairs. I wish. Oh, Dr. Stewart, cut it out, she... Molly. You showed your hand when you took the videotape back. You know all about Chris Hughes and the pictures that ran in the intruder, which, by the way, Henry handed over to them. Is that so? Henry Coleman did that, hmm. So, now that the cat's out of the bag, where's the tape? You're not getting anything from me. Really? You want to play it that way? All right. If Holden sees that videotape, if anybody sees that videotape, I go straight to Abigail and tell her everything. That you have been conning her for months to save your lying behind. You would do that to her? Hey, sometimes it takes a good friend to tell the painful truth. And I'll be very gentle with her. You wouldn't. Holden cannot see that tape. I have worked way too long, way too hard, to have you get in my way. So do yourself a favor and get rid of that tape before it falls into the wrong hands. Or Abigail finds out what a low-class reject her mother really is. Okay. You win. I will not play that tape for Holden. I'm glad we had this little talk, Molly. And you know, if the amnesia bit really makes you feel like less of a loser, you should stick to it. It works for you. Later. Uh, that isn't the real Katie. She is so barbaric. Now do you see why it's so hard to just say no to revenge? Walsh down on your head. Not to mention putting out boatloads of cash to spring Rose D'Angelo from jail for me. I'm way smarter than that. I did it for Lucinda, too. Oh, so Lucinda's gonna join this little party. Hmm, another one for your harem. Two girls aren't, isn't enough. You're jealous. I'm peeved. I'm very peeved. Because every time I walk through your door, some babe is either hugging you or running around your apartment half naked. What's up with that, Jake? Is that some trend? As long as you keep walking through the door, I mean, that's why I gave you the key, because uh, I love seeing you in this room. Then, then get rid of the crowds. I am working on that. Not until you give me an explanation. I sprung Rose because Emily was sniffing around for a story, and I thought I would protect Lucinda's interests. Did Lucinda know about that? No, but I don't think she's gonna have a problem with it because I just called Matthew and and Lily is home safe and sound. There, are you satisfied? Not quite. You see, I need to know what Rose is being here is gonna do for me. Miss D'Angelo is going to help us stomp on Katie. What do we need her for? Jake, we have the tape. Overkill, insurance, whatever. I'm just not gonna leave any of this to chance. And you could have gotten Emily to back off Rose with one phone call. True. So why did you do this for me? The trial with Stenbeck is going to be very, very hard on you. And I just thought you should be solid, steady. Besides, if you're going to take, make one last bad girl shine, it might as well be a good one. Are those lips still available? I figured it was as much his fight as it is ours, don't you? Sure. As long as everything goes as planned, but if it doesn't... Yeah, I can handle whatever. I'm just... I'm just happy to get, be here with the two of you and have everything be okay between us. <laughs> yeah, well, nothing like a good public tar and feathering to bring the folks back together, huh? <laughs> so, where's Jake? Um... He's arranging the finale, actually. Where do we come in? Well, you guys are going to put the whole plan into motion.